video lessons of uh, system of linear equations solution of a, uh, of a linear system under PMET 11522 today we will uh, discuss some work examples for solving a linear system using um, row operation and converting the augmented matrix into its virtual form so especially we will focus how we can decide uh, whether the system has a unique solution infinitely many solution or no solution suppose we are given a linear system where a b and c are some given constant so we want to see for what values of a b c the system has a solution to decide the solution we have to start with the augmented matrix here we have the augmented matrix and then we have to convert this augmented matrix matrix into its frozen form so it is already one so we have to make this one into zero and this term into zero for that purpose we can use appropriate um, row operations you can multiply the first row by minus two and add into the second row to make this entry into zero so this is this operation and then uh, you can multiply the first equation by minus one and add into the third equation to make this one into zero so this is this operation then uh, we, we will get this augmented matrix uh, will be converted into this form so here now um, first row doesn't change the second row multiplying by one uh, zero by minus two plus one is remain as it is one minus two into minus two uh, plus two is minus four minus four plus five is one here we have one In the left hand side uh, b is there minus two a plus b is b minus two a and then uh, multiplying the first row by minus one adding into the third row we get uh, minus one plus one is zero zero into minus one is zero zero plus minus one again minus one so uh, multiplying minus two you get plus one you get again minus one here so multiplying a by minus a add into c so c minus a now since we have already completed the first column then we move to this partition matrix so they are already one so we don't have to change anything below this one it should be zero so you can add uh, add the second row into the third row to make this entry into zero then you have one plus minus one is zero 1 plus minus 1 again 0 b minus 2a plus c minus a you will get b plus c minus 3a there you can see that uh, in the augmented metric the left hand side third row is entirely 0 now you may remember we discussed if there if there exists a row um, augmented matrix when we converted convert this augmented matrix into row chain form if it is entirely zero in the right hand side and uh, left hand side partition is non-zero then there exists there is no solution for the linear system but our question is for what values of abc the system has a solution so therefore to get the solution this term also should be equal to zero so then you will get entirely zero row so it will lead to infinitely many solution so therefore to get the solution for consistent linear system right hand portion of the third row is also should be zero so that means b plus uh, c minus 3a should be equal to zero so the answer is for what values of a b c the following system has a solution so the solution uh, the system has a solution whenever b plus c 
minus 3 is equal to 0. So here we have one more example. For what values of lambda will the following equations fail to have a unique solution? So very similarly, we have to start with the augmented matrix and convert into its row and form. Now this is uh, our uh, augmented matrix, very simple. 1, 1, 1, 1 in the first equation. For the second equation, 1, 2, 4, lambda. Um, for the third equation, we have 1, 4, 10, uh, lambda squared. Then we convert this into uh, augmented uh, row echelon form. First, we have 1 here. And below this one, we have to have zeros. For that purpose, we can multiply the first equation by minus 1 and into the second row. And then uh, to get the third row 0, we can multiply the third uh, first row by minus 1 and into the third row. Same thing is here. Okay. Now, applying these operations, you will get this kind of uh, augmented matrix. So, since the first column is in row general form, we move to the uh, second uh, partition. So, this partition. There we have already 1. So below this one we have to 0. So that purpose we can multiply the uh, multi to make this entry into 0. You can multiply the second row by minus 2, minus 3 and add into third row. So therefore multiply the second row by minus 2 and add into the third row. So it will lead to the this uh, equivalent augmented matrix. Now you can see it is in row echelon form. Or, uh, there is a zero row. It appears at the bottom and all leading coefficients are one and below leading coefficients all entries are one, uh, zero. So therefore it is in row echelon form. Now we have to discuss the type of the solution of the linear system based on this uh, row echelon form. Now we can see that in the right, uh, right hand side, uh, left hand side, this partition is entirely zero. So therefore, if this is not equal to zero, this is not equal to zero mean system is inconsistent. There is no solution. So therefore, to get the solution, we need this left hand, uh, right hand partition lambda squared minus 3 lambda minus 4 is also should be equal to zero. So therefore, we have lambda squared minus 3 lambda minus 4 is equal to 0. We can factor out this is as lambda minus 4 and lambda plus lambda minus 1. This will be plus. Yeah, this is minus plus. So lambda is equal to minus 4 or lambda equal plus. So factoring out, you will get this is minus 4 and plus 1. So therefore, uh, linear system to be consistent. So that means solution exists. So lambda should be equal minus 4 or lambda is equal to 1. So in that case, you will have infinitely many solutions. So for any other values, other than lambda is equal to minus 4 or lambda is equal to 1, there is no solution. So therefore, uh, the system does not have any solution. One more question. So consider the linear system. 2x minus 3y plus 5 is a d is equal to 12. 3x plus y plus lambda is a d equal to mu. x minus 7y plus 8 is a d is equal to 7, 17. Now you can see in this case, in this linear system, we have variables x, y, z and lambda and mu, uh, two other uh, constants. So the question asks, the, uh, use the Gaussian elimination method to find the values of lambda and mu for which the system has no solution, infinitely many solution or unique solution. So usually we start, as usually we start with the augmented matrix and here it is. Now, uh, in the first column, we should have this entry should be equal to 1. We can interchange with the third row and the first row so, they, so that you can get the first entry, pivot entry as 1. 
So R1 interchange with R3. Then you have second row doesn't change. Uh, third, uh, first row, third row is coming as the first row, and the second row is going as third row. Now this is. Now uh, in this case, this is one. So below this one, we have to have zeros. So you can multiply the first row by minus three, and add into the sec uh, third second row. You can multiply uh, this by minus two, and add, add into the second row to make this entry is into zero this entry is into zero then you have this apply these four operations so then you will have minus so minus three times three is zero minus three plus three is zero minus seven into minus three is twenty one twenty plus one is 22. Here we have a minus uh, 3 into 8 is minus, minus 24 minus 24 lambda so lambda minus 24. So here we have 17 when you multiply 17 by minus 3 is minus 51. So mu minus 51 in the right hand side. So that's the second equation. Third row you multiply by minus 2 the first row and add into the second row. So this becomes 0. Here you will get minus 7 into minus 2 is 14. 14 plus minus 3 is 11. So um, you multiply the first equation by minus 2. So it is 8 into minus 2 16 minus 16 minus 16 plus 5 is minus 11. So 17 into minus 2 minus 34 minus 34 plus 12 is minus 22. Now to convert this augmented matrix, we can make this one, this entry into one and interchange. So we divide the third row by 11. So then you will get this matrix. So third row, the first and second uh, rows. Uh, they do not change. So third row becomes 1 minus 1 minus 2. So this is 22, but we have to make it 1. So we can interchange the second row and third row like that. So then you will get resulting uh, matrices. Now what we have here, this, uh, this is 1. So below this one, it should be zero. So you can multiply the second row by minus 22 and add into the third row. So then you will get, this is also zero. Now here, when you multiply minus one by minus 22, this plus 22, 22 plus lambda minus four, uh, 24 means you get lambda minus two, lambda minus two. You multiply 17 by minus 22 and add into mu minus 51 so then you will get mu minus 17 without knowing the values of uh, mu and lambda we cannot proceed to convert this into original form so if this is equal to 0 if this is equal to 0 that may in this case you have 0 0 in the right hand uh, left hand side so it is in the row return 4. Now we can argue for what values of lambda and mu the system has a unique solution. If the in system is inconsistent so that means the right left hand partition should be entirely 0 and right hand uh, so here should be equal to 0 and right hand side should be not equal to 0. So that means we should have 0 here so that means you get lambda minus 2 is equal to 0 and uh, mu minus 7 is not equal to 0. In that case, um, left hand side partition is 0 but right hand pa partition is non-zero. System is inconsistent. So therefore, if lambda is equal to 2 and mu is equal to not equal to 7, the system does not have any solution. Inconsistent system. The second one, for infinite many solutions, so you can see that 
this should be equal to 0 and this should be equal to 0. So that means lambda minus 2 is equal to 0 and mu minus 7 is equal to 0. In that case, uh, there are two non-zero uh, entries, non-zero rows. It has three variables. So number of non-zero rows is, uh, rows is less than the number of variable. The system has infinitely many solutions for lambda equal 2 and mu equal 7. If the system does not have a unique solution exists whenever um, number of non-zero uh, rows are 3. So that means we have three variables in the system of linear equation. So if, it, if this is non-zero, if this row is non-zero, then we have a unique solution. Number of non-zero rows is equal to the number of variables. For that purpose, we need lambda is not equal to 2. Because if lambda is equal to 2, this will be 0. It's a 0 row. Uh, and if there are, it doesn't, uh, if this is non-zero or 0, it doesn't matter. If it is non-zero, there is no solution. If it is 0, it has infinitely many solutions. To get a unique solution, this should be, this part should be not equal to 0. So that means lambda should not be equal to 2. So that's how we decide um how to if we are given some certain constant depending on on the values of constant how we can decide whether system has a uh, has no solution infinite limited solution or um, unique solution convert the augmented matrix into row echelon form based on the uh, row augmented uh, row echelon form of the augmented matrix we uh, we can uh, carry out our argument how the solution exists. Okay, so that will be the final uh, lessons, video lessons for system of linear equations. And thank you so much for joining with us.